This is what happens when your thrift addiction gets the best of you. <laughs> And I'm definitely keeping the most amazing and epic find to the end. I think we did good. <laughs> <laughs>Blueprint DIY, where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today, I'm super excited to share this video with you guys because if you've been following me on Instagram and TikTok, you know that one day last week or two weeks ago, I woke up in Canada. Yes, I went to Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and um, visited a subscriber. Well, some subscribers. They are here. They are So this is the backstory on it. You guys know that I have a members only group I have for years here on YouTube and we have an upcycling club. And basically what it is is me and the ladies get together once a month. It's the first Monday of every month. We get together and we, it's me encouraging them, giving them tips and we, everybody gives each other tips on their up cycles. And so it just keeps everybody motivated, keeps everybody accountable, helps them to design collections and really accomplish their goals in up cycling. So I'm super excited about that. So previously I had shown you guys one of my subscribers, she's in the up cycling class, we call it Blueprint DIY University. She's in the uh, up cycling group and she finds the most amazing like ethnic, um, just elaborate, things as she thrifts. She has the best thrift stores, the best thrift collection that I have ever seen. And so during the, um, she told us if we make it all through this, we're going to get together. I'm inviting you up to my home in Alberta and you guys can come thrift in my closet and I'll take you to all my favorite spots. So of course I was like that, you know, because it's been my goal for a really long time to thrift all over the world. Everywhere I go, I find a thrift store. So I was super down for this. Shout out to Jackie, the best, the best and most amazing host ever. Absolutely absolutely ever um she invited us in and made us feel so welcome and so yeah actually my mom is in the group as well so i treated her the trip actually covered her birthday so this was a birthday trip for her but we just got together and we proceeded to just thrift our hearts out thrift to we couldn't thrift anymore. So the first day of thrifting, we went to this little like a uh, church thrift store and I found the most amazing pins. And what I've learned about thrifting is that when you go thrifting, you really want to focus on the location that you're in and what's special about that location. So something that you can't get at home. So Alberta, Canada is much colder than it is in Houston. So I decided to like, let the thrift stores talk to me. Let me, you know, figure out what these thrift stores had to offer that I couldn't get here in Houston. Because if you guys didn't know, Houston is a really big thrifting city as well. And we have really cheap prices. So I didn't want to just thrift things and have to transport things that I could get here for cheap. So I found these really, really nice pins. And it's so funny what you take for granted because Jackie was looking at the pins like why would you want those pins and I'm like these are really cool pins like we don't just have just pins you know uh enamel pins just everywhere in our thrift store so I've thrifted a bunch of them and you guys know that my mind has shifted a little bit because I do have blueprint signature about to drop in July it's coming up like really 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 close and so a lot of my brain has shifted towards that so I'm not just shopping for myself I'm shopping for the brand which you know also gives me another reason to shop so <laughs> I'm quite the lucky girl right but I saw these pins and oh I just love them they're gonna end up on something in the line so you can look forward to that but I just thought and the prices were super cheap they were like a quarter a piece or you know 99 cents a piece and so I was just like yes the pins <laughs> give me the pins and then this this is when it happened. This is when it happened. We went to the second thrift store, it was a value village, and this is when it happened. She was telling us that this particular thrift store was really good for their like um, blankets and housewares. And so I made a beeline to the houseware section. And so right off the bat, I saw this woven blanket. I mean, can you just see it? Can you catch my vision? Shout it out. If you see what I'm seeing before I say it, put it in the comments and say that you saw it before I said it. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. But 
Can you see it? I'll show you. Can you see it now? Yes. That's going to be a dress or something, something. You know how much I would have to pay for something like this in Houston? Where's the tag? This was only $6.29 Canadian. $6.29 in Canadian dollars, which is like 30% less here. And she had coupons for us. She had collected coupons knowing that the trip we were coming, she had collected cu coupons for us. Like, I'm dying. Come on, look at the colors. And there was an identical one just like it. I'll get, it's at the bottom of the bag. There was an identical one just like it. So what did I do? I put them in my cart and I proceed to go through the rest of the blankets. So I'm gonna show you throughout the rest of the day, every store that we went to was blanket palooza. It was, it was giving, it was raining blankets. So you already see what the next collection is gonna look like. The same stitching, the same person. You can see that the same person did this one. It's just in another color palette. So pretty. This one was, again, $6.29. Just amazing. I am grateful for whoever took the time to do that. And yes, yes, I'm go it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be amazing. So let me show you another one. This one was $8.29. The colors is just so good. It's just so good and they're so big. Like these are not just throws, like these are blankets. This one, which was $11.49. Now this one was more like, this is like no person. Uh, I'm sure like a machine made this. I love the color and there's just a lot of it. So I could easily see a pants set, a pants and top, like tank top or some type of top set. Little crop sweater, oh. It's gonna be so good. And of course, you guys always know, I'm gonna make a video about it. I'll pick one for myself. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments which one you think I should pick for myself. Um, and then all the rest of them will get uh, put on the Blueprint Signature site. But of course, I have to pick one to make a video about so you guys can see how to turn a blanket into something. All right, so next up is this one, 829. Super big, super long. That's giving so 70s, like I can't, like I can't even. All right, so here along that same vein for 629 is this one, so uh, pretty. That is so pretty. Uh, and here's the other one, same size. All right, this one was 829 and I just thought this one was funky. That is so Oh, it's cute. Bags that you're hearing. I ended up getting, having to go to their version of the Dollar Tree and I got these vacuum seal bags and you guys should have seen me trying to fit them into my suitcase. I had to end up putting them in the suitcase, then sucking the air out so that they would conform to the suitcase. I'm laying on the suitcase, it was crazy, but I got them home. Oh, you guys are gonna love this one. I'm thinking, I think this is the one I wanna keep, but it would be, I feel like I, I would be being selfish if I did that. But you guys know that green is my favorite color. This one was $11.49, this. The movement and the fringe. Come on. Come. Come. You see it. It's going to be so good. Like, so, so good. All right. So, next up at 829, we have this one. Yes. Yes. Mm hmm. Look how pretty that steel gray is. Yes. <laughs> And now we have another category of blanket. And you're going, I know y'all saying like, Angelina, really? Y'all know how I get. When I start thrifting and the high starts, it's, it's, it's done. It's done. And so I really, in my brain, I really, really, really thought all of this stuff was going to fit in the one suitcase. So what I did was I packed a small suitcase inside of a big suitcase. And all the things I needed for my trip were in the small suitcase. And I thought I was just going to be able to take that out, use the big suitcase, and get all of this home. This is what happens when you thrift too much. <laughs> buried in it. Look, I'm buried in it. <laughs> oh, my God. 
this is what happens when your thrift addiction gets the best of you. <laughs> it weighs so much, we got a flat tire. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Their version of triple yep i think i think i think we did good <laughs> obviously i was mistaken i ended up having to bring home a whole nother uh bag <laughs> on my back um a carry-on but we made it home so that's all that matters so the next category of blanket is this one i got for 849 and then these are more almost like tablecloths look at the detail it's like little uh, sand dollars. I love that. I have la one last one that was a gift. I Like I said, Jackie let us, she pulled out boxes and bins. Wait, first of all, let me say that she has the most amazing collection of stuff. And I think I said that already, but I wanna show it to you. Um, the things that she has collected from all over the world is just absolutely epic. And then on top of that, um, she has, I want to be her when I grow up. Her closet is just the best, like the best. You can see it here. So this video is for my children. When you move out, I'm taking over your rooms and it's gonna look like this. Uh, just uh, so cool. And then she has her own sewing room and then a sewing closet. So she does Poshmark. So her Poshmark stuff is in the back. And then she has like tapestries and blankets on another wall and drawers. And then she has vintage sheets and uh, blankets in another set of drawers. So, and she was just like, well, why, why do you want to record? Like who wouldn't want to record this? Like the people need to see. <laughs> so she was so nice and kind. She said she has so, so much stuff. She wanted to pull out some boxes and stuff for us to look through. And she handed me this blanket and I put it in a bag that I'll show you. And I don't know whether it's considered a blanket or a tablecloth, but look at the, okay. So this is the regular detail. Like there but then on the bottom look at that detail look look if you're not screaming to say i'm grateful is like such an understatement it's such an understatement this is going to be maybe i'll make this one for myself because this one is special because she gave it to me let me know what you guys think the pile of blankets is this high this is the bag it's from Israel. I don't know whether she thrifted it or bought it in her one of her travels, but look at that. The beading is just so, so nice. So I had the blanket in the bag. My mom uh, was going through, take, she was getting a lot of doilies because she makes these angel, doily angels. Um, so she was so excited about the doilies and some of the tablecloths and different things like that. She was in heaven. Um, there was another subscriber that came. She brought her daughter. Um, so, so sweet. Uh, she was going through like, uh, with the saris and different things like that. She was having a blast. So we were just all having a blast. And at the end, I'll tell you guys more about some things that I'm thinking about in the future to um, include more people. So if you're interested, you don't wanna miss that. All right, so blankets isn't the only thing that I got. I actually brought back two blazers. I know blazers are the, the biggest thing and probably the worst thing to buy in another country and bring back. But you guys know how much I love blazers, how much I upcycle with blazers. And so I bought these two blazers and I just felt like they were so unique. I had to get them. Green, once again, is my favorite color. So this green one is just, oh, it's everything. The lining of this blazer is just, Oh, it's so good. And then the piping, the trim, it's everything. So yeah, I really, really love that. I love the stripes of this blue one. It's almost like denim and you guys know how much I love denim. So um, yeah, I don't know whether we're gonna cut those, what there's gonna be, but they're in the shop. So that the shop is the chopping block. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Let me know what you think I should do with them, whether I should keep them or what you think I should do. And then I got for 99 cents, I found this beautiful scarf. And I don't know whether I'm gonna just keep this or whether I am going to do something with it. It actually matches spot on with what I have on today. 
And I'm definitely keeping the most amazing and epic find to the end. All right, so for $8.99, I got this shirt. I am really into just things I can throw on and are nice and soft and it is really soft and um just <laughs> wear it to work put on some jogging pants and keep it moving 1049 that says make art not war so you can see i kind of like killed it with the blankets i splurged on the t-shirts but i was happy with it i really like this one like i said just something i can throw on i love graphic tees um and so that was what i got for myself now on top of everything else, um, one of the things we planned to do was to for everybody to bring something and we could do a swap, a thrift swap. And so what it turned into was we didn't know that Jackie had handpicked something other than the blanket. The blanket was, she just gave me that at the end because she saw me buying other blankets and she was like, oh, she likes blankets. I'll give her this. And it was an absolutely amazing gift. But she had planned before we even got there, she had been thrifting for each person. And so... <laughs> I know we all brought something and we gave something to her and she gave something to us. So it was a thrift swap, but just not the way I thought it was going to turn out to be. But so I ended up bringing my uh, teal Christian Dior blazer and it looks so, so good on her. It looks so good on her. But she gave me, she gave me three things. She gave me this skirt and it has this really nice detail, like lace detail at the top and then also at the bottom. Um, I'm not going to wear it as a skirt i'm actually going to wear it as a top because i have recently seen something very similar to this um in zara and so i'm super excited to wear this just as a sleeveless top so yeah then the next thing that she gave me is this look how beautiful and this is actually a pillowcase and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. As of right now, is this gonna have a pillow in it? It's so pretty. Um, I do have yellow in my room, so it may go in my bedroom, but it's just so pretty, like really, really pretty. Speaking of gifts, I also got gifts for Tiara and Keishel. And so I was going along and I got Tiara this purse and uh, this cute little gold purse, vintage purse. And then I got Keishel this silver one. They really like their purses. Um, and then I also got Tiara this book about like old epic movies. She is a movie buff and so she really Really like that and then and she loves tech, coffee table books and then I got K Shell this vintage Vogue coloring book it was just a coffee table book it has a few pages that were colored but for the most part not even colored um so I thought that those were pretty you know cool finds and something to bring them back from my trip so now I can share with you guys the creme de la creme Angelina in a skirt yes like it yeah if I wear a skirt this is who I would be. And you saw me style it last week. It is this. I'm gonna give you guys a close up. The brand is Trip NYC. Look at that. Look at that. We gotta go slowly because the details are detailing. So this is the side. It is a cargo skirt with just so many things hanging down, so many pockets and zippers. And you guys know that's um, that's all, all about the pockets and the zippers. It has adjustable straps on the side. Um, let me show you the back. And I have really long legs and this skirt goes down to my ankles. Like it, it's a full length skirt. It is a maxi skirt. And it has this zipper. It has this zipper in the back. And I was thinking like, oh, okay, so it's gonna be a split. And I was like, dang, that's a high split. And even my daughter was like, okay, mom, don't have your butt out, you know? And I'm like, oh no, no butt out. And look how, look how long these pockets are. When she gave me this, I, I just wanted to flip. Cause I was just like, I just couldn't believe it. I was like, you thrifted that? She thrifted this guys. I don't know for how much, but she thrifted this. And it's just, ugh. A lot of the details are just pure details, but you guys know I don't mind that. Um, but this zipper is actually a Godet. A go, yeah, Godet. Is that how you say it? Inverted box pleat. And it lets the skirt out. And so 
It's just a totally, now it's another skirt. It's a totally different skirt. And then on the side as well, you can take it in on the side with these zippers here. This cannot be touched. It, it's perfect. It is perfect. It is perfection. Absolute perfection. From the bottom of my heart, Jackie, thank you so much. So that was my thrift trip in Canada. Now I know that Canada is a very, very big country and there's a lot of places to thrift, a lot of places to go. So um, yeah, let me know about it. My goal to thrift all over the world. So if you have an, a great place for me to thrift, definitely let me know in the comments and then everybody else can see it and we can all thrift like everywhere we go. So yeah, share your favorite locations to thrift in the comments. I will put the locations of every place we went in the description box as well. And I am thinking of doing the next thrift journey in Chicago so that I can share with you guys uh, the favorite places to thrift in my hometown. Um, so that'll be our next retreat. But for you guys, for those of you guys who just want to thrift with us, I'll, I'm thinking about making a list of the places that we're going to be in when we're going to be there. So it's like a thrift tour. So we'll be in one place for an hour and we'll provide that time slot. Then we'll provide the time slot for the next place and the next place and the next place. And we'll thrift, you know, all over the Chicagoland area. Um, so that's what I'm thinking. Let me know your thoughts. <laughs> um, and if you are interested in becoming a member of the Blueprint DIY University, definitely hit that join button to learn more about that. We meet every first Monday of the month at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We would love to have you. We would love to have more members. We have a great, great time. And, you know, I have a feeling that if you upcycle, that's your people. Let me know what was your favorite thing that I thrifted and definitely subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see if you want me to be able to thrift in more places in the world, especially in your locations. All right, I have more videos for you guys right here at Thrift Hauls, as well as the most amazing epic upcycles ever. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.